What's goody? Welcome to ENJ Reacts, baby. Hope y'all staying blessed, staying beautiful, and staying clean. Today we'll be watching a video by The Odd Ones out. Big fan, big fan, big fan. Cannot say it enough. Hey, you already know the vibes. Welcome to ENJ Reacts. Let's get right to the video, baby. I understand that there are things got? that I don't understand. For okay. example, theoretical physics or how to make friends. But I do know that the it's world a big is not difference, flat, bro. that vaccines work, and listening to people tell me otherwise is admittedly a guilty pleasure of mine. Whether it's conspiracy Why? theories or horoscopes, I love watching oh people pour God. their heart into something they genuinely believe in, only for me to go, <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> but please continue. There please are continue. some beliefs that I don't agree with, but are absolutely fine to believe in, like thinking bucket hats look good on someone. But uh, I think nah, we can cool, all bro. agree that some beliefs can be incredibly damaging to a person That's or even humanity so as a whole, true. like the anti vaxxers or racists. So I yeah. discovered a new trend, and I'm not sure if it's just kids being kids or a mentally damaging belief system, but I'm still gonna talk about it and explain to my audience the importance of critical thinking and to notice the red flags and dangerous beliefs. So what am I talking about? I what unfortunately about? fell down a rabbit hole and discovered a community of mostly kids on a phone application called TikTok doing oh, something dude, I called love TikTok. reality shifting. This, by the way, is Whoa, not a small community what? of like 20 people. There are amino groups with thousands of members, videos with hundreds of thousands of views, and they have their own acronyms. O-M-G. Reality shifting stems from the belief in parallel universes, which okay. I gotta be honest, I'm not completely sold on that idea to begin with. Neither you am I. You say that Schrodinger's cat is both alive and dead, but cats have nine lives, so are 4.5 cats dead? How is a cat half dead? That's a Either good way, question. Either way, someone supposedly very smart has said that every decision you've ever made has caused the universe to copy itself and create a new reality where you made the different decision. I had cereal for breakfast this morning, but somewhere but there's a, a reality where I ate my else. hamster for breakfast. Does Ew. that mean I create a new universe every time I scratch my butt? And somewhere there's a James with hey, better listen, manners? Listen. So he's, times he's that by 8 billion pointer. people making decisions every day, plus the decisions made by like dogs and jellyfish, right? Those count, I think. Yeah. And we get roughly infinity total realities. If you've seen Endgame, you know what I'm talking about. The reality shifting community says that since there are infinite realities, then this there's a reality a where GameStop wild. stock is incredibly low, or that COVID didn't happen. Or perhaps there's even a reality out there where Hogwarts is real and a messenger owl just dropped off your acceptance letter. And I don't through think the so. right meditation, you can transfer your consciousness from your current reality, your CR for short, <laughs> to your Hogwarts this desired is so reality, wild. your DR. And this for is too some wild. gosh darn reason, Hogwarts is the number one shiftable destination location. But obviously, it's not just Hogwarts. Any fictional universe is fair game. You could go to the Hunger Games or Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure why, though. A lot of bad things happen there. And since all Yo, logic listen, is thrown real out quick, the window, guys, real cartoon quick. and anime realities are- Real quick. <laughs> There's some interesting people in this world, bro. <laughs> I don't know, but I, use, I believe a lot of things. I, I'm really good at like, oh, yeah, dude, that kind of makes sense. Like, I see that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to listen. I don't know if I believe in this. Are one. shiftable destinations. It'd be because cool. if Schrodinger's cat taught us anything, it's that there are some universes that are just 24 drawings a second. So because there are allegedly infinite realities, people will write down what they want their desired reality to be, and this is called a script. It's funny, you okay. know, normally scripts are made to tell fictional stories, but these people think that what they write down will be 100% real. And you can make a script of whatever you want. You can say, I want to shift to Hogwarts and be in a relationship with Draco Malfoy. I, I mean, <laughs> not, not me, this is just an example. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's cool, bro. You're a smart cool. kid, okay? Hopefully, I don't have to explain to you that that's not how life works. If you believe you can hop into different realities, then that's great, and I see no problem uh, with it. Yo! Is what I would say in a different reality, <laughs> but in this reality, I have a lot of questions. If you can shift your consciousness into a different version of you, what happens to the alternate reality you's consciousness? It's You're just good taking point. over someone else's body. This other you had a life and a family, unless you're going to a YA fantasy novel, and you just took over their whole body. What if there's a you in an alternate reality that's like, I want to live in a reality where there's a pandemic and I'm sadder. 
and then they shifted here. Oh what my god. to your consciousness? You don't trade. You just, the reality shifting community says that when point. you shift, you leave behind a clone of yourself. Oh, Obviously. Snap. So when you shift, there's someone's consciousness unaccounted for. What about Yo. the realities where one of you had waffles for breakfast and the other had pancakes? Both of these yous are pretty much the exact same. So then both of you will want to reality shift to the exact same Harry Potter reality. Do you have to share a body with the other <laughs> yous that have shifted wild. to the same reality? Are you telling me that Voldemort and any fictional villain is real? How come half of us didn't get turned to dust when Thanos snapped? If anyone can reality That's a good shift, point. are you telling me there's a chance? that Voldemort could download TikTok and reality shift here? If you go to Hogwarts, you're leading Voldemort right to us. He's got a point us. there. How can there be a reality where magic is real? Sure, I don't know how parallel universes work, hmm. but they're parallel. So the laws of physics should still be the same, right? Right. But James, I know that reality shifting makes no sense and is impossible. James, but then what why is do so going many on? people claim to have shifted? Because they're dreaming. <laughs> Shifting happens when you fall asleep, and if you fill your subconscious with things from your desired reality, would you be surprised that you had a dream about Hogwarts? <laughs> Something about this trend doesn't sit right with me. Yeah, why, why are you drinking shifting TikToks pods? Are done by kids, and kids, as you know, can get really obsessed in the fandom and do some cringy stuff. If these kids were making fan fiction and writing themselves on a date with Bakugo, that would be totally fine, <laughs> healthy even. Heck, even if these kids flat out said, I love Harry Potter so much that I want to manipulate my dreams to be about him. Dude, that would be fine Jesus too. Christ. But something about actually believing that you're astral projecting into a fictional universe. That's I wild. don't know. That level of obsession That's just wild. feels unhealthy, my guy. And also back my up guy. Audio, he's mine. <laughs> the problem with reality shifting and actually conspiracy theories as a whole is that they pretend to be based on factual evidence when they're entirely a pseudoscience. You start off with a scientific idea, multiple okay. realities, and then you make up whatever you want and use what the scientists have said about multiple realities as proof. Even though no scientist has said anything about being Dude, able to- this is just such a wild phenomenon. Like, there's really people who really- like, I don't- Like, I just don't know, man. I just don't know what to say. Uh, it's just your too consciousness wild. outside of your body, or that you leave a clone of yourself behind when you reality shift, or that cartoon Crazy. universes exist. I've seen people in videos say that they've done research on reality shifting. What? But I feel confident in saying you didn't get a degree in quantum physics. I want yeah. you to cite your sources and show me the studies because research isn't just believing what other people said on TikTok. These TikToks get impressionable kids to believe in reality shifting in pretty manipulative ways. It's, it's saying too that wild. if you didn't shift, it's because you didn't believe hard enough. When you get these doubts, no, you you're say, lying. Oh, I can't shift. I don't even know if it's real anymore at this point. Try and ask yourself after, but what if it's real? What if I can shift? You want to find out, do you? I get it. Harry Potter is a cool <laughs> world. That's why they made a but whole theme park about it. you don't need to shift Who there. wouldn't want to drop out of a muggle public school and live in a castle with a bunch of soft British boys? And also magic or whatever. But you need to be mindful about where you're getting your information. I've watched hours of flat earthers and anti-vaxxers talk about Jesus their beliefs Christ. and these people get their information from non-credible sources and they end up pushing more fake information online and it creates this echo chamber that warps their worldview. Right I there. don't want kids watching these TikToks or going on Amino and essentially get lied to and oh think this is God. how the world works. I'm hoping that all of these people will look back at themselves in 10 years and go, Yeesh, wow. I can't believe I was so obsessed about a thing. I literally tried to astral project myself across the multiverse. Right <laughs> long ago? I know that this reality can suck sometimes, and right now it's looking pretty bad. Yes, but sir. like it or not, this but is the give one that reality we get. A lot of things may be out of your control, but according to theoretical physics, I love this we guy. make a lot of choices. Yes, and sir. all our choices lead us down different paths. Yes, sir. So what you need to do is not give up on this reality for a literal fictitious one, but instead to make choices man, that will make this current reality Even your desired better. reality. Yes, sir. Thank you all for coming to my TED Talk. Who that wouldn't want to drop out of, a, out of a muggle? Who wouldn't want to drop... <laughs> my man's messing up. Hey, listen, that was beautiful. Well said, James. Hey, all love. And make sure you follow Odds One Out. As always, your humble and gracious host, baby. I am signing off. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and stay clean. Peace out.